Welcome back to the Queen Elizabeth Stadium in Hong Kong for the Hong Kong Grand Finals and the International Table Tennis Federation Pro Tour for the men's final now. Vladimir Samsonov of Belarus against hometown favorite Vang Li King of China. Samsonov winning the first two sets, 21-16, 21-14. We're now in the third set. And you talk about cash, $35,000 U.S., the first place prize money. Gina Red along with Andrew Sundstrom former national team player and head coach of Team Sweden. And this has just been a great tournament. Oh, yeah, and both players deserve to be here in the final. Vangli King have beat them, Volner, Roskov, and Serv from Europe, which is a great achievement from this 20-year-old boy. And Vladimir Savsonov the same. He have beaten Liu Guliang, the Olympic champion, and also Soran Primo had showed in the past and been really, really good on the pro tour. So I think it's a great final in this men's singles final. Samsonov quickly falls behind. Love to. Long. One. One, two. And something we should point out, Anders, for those viewers maybe who haven't followed along, the style of Vladimir Samsonov. Very, very casual, very, very steady. He's not a no player that maybe gets into it and then sits back for a few minutes. He's steady right throughout the entire match. Oh, yeah, and his character is very much the player who, who never gives away a ball. Very much he will play the ball on the table and, and let the players on the other side make the mistakes. Even there, Vangli King is making a terrific four and top spin. What a great shot by Vangli King. Here's a look from the overhead. You get an idea of how he put this right into the open end of the table. You couldn't hit it more perfectly than that. No, that's right. It was uh, very well struck. Vang Li King is also interesting to notice. He's from the new Chinese style, which uh, used the handshake grip uh, or the European style of, of keeping the, the, the racket in the hand. And will play a lot of topspin, like there, foreign topspin and being close to the table. What a great opportunity now for Vang Li King and the fact one. that he just took over service and is up 5-1. Great opportunity to get back into this match because he trails two sets to love. What a rally. That's surprising finish to it, though. After a great rally, Samsonov basically gave it away. Oh, yeah, but he's, he's pushed all the way from Wang Li King. Wang Li King is not giving Samsonov any chance to respond to that. So that's more of uh, Wang Li King's power than, than of, of uh, Samsonov's weakness. 6-2. 6-2, Wang Li King leading Vladimir Samsonov of Belarus in the men's final of the 1997 Hong Kong Grand Six, three. If you compare these finals to the, the to the women's final, you will see here a game with uh, more spin and speed. There will be a lot of spin in this game with the four and top spins from both players, and they will combine that for playing very quick shots. So I think uh, that's the difference, the main difference between women and men's table tennis. And a good strategy there by Vang Lee King. Vladimir Sansonov came all the way back from 6-2 to make it 6-4. So Vang Le King wants to just settle things down a little bit because he's still got the lead. He wants to hang on to that slim margin. Let's. We just had a bird fly across the table. Out of the 14 stops we've had on the pro circuit this year, I think that's the first time we've had a let because of a bird flying through the court. Yeah, that was no, I've seen it all. <laughs> Oh, good rally. I'm sorry, I just can't get over the fact that we just had a bird fly through the table. Oh, yeah, and that, I mean, that was an unbelievable rally. It's a great table tennis, once again. In the, and Van Lee King is, is on his uh, toes here. Samsonov now looks to be getting just a little bit frustrated with himself. Van Le King is hot. He's real hot. You can see that in his uh, expression in the face, and you can see it while he's, he's jumping up and down. Let's four, eight. Wide. Five, eight. Five, eight. I think for Van Le King to beat Samsonov, he has to be aggressive. He has to play quick. 
if he plays some sort of game or style, there is no chance for him. Net, 6-8. Six, eight. Six, eight. I mean, he's doing the right thing even if it's net out here. He has to go for the shots and he has to be aggressive and he has to take a few chances. He's down 2-0, so there's really not, not much for him, no margin for him any longer. So he has eight, to go seven. for these shots as well. Wait. Could look a bit silly mistake, but I think that's connected to the aggressiveness. 8-7 the score, and Vladimir Samsonov has climbed back into it again. Leo Gulliang, though, the time couldn't be any better for him because now we're on a change of service. He's still got that one-point lead, and he's seen Samsonov close the gap before, and he's pulled away before. Now we'll see how he responds to it this time around. Response very well. 9-7. The response excellent. Four and top spin, no chance for Samsung. Nine, seven. Vangli King has been most successful when he's been most aggressive, so this, this is no time for him to change any strategy. He made a mistake, but he erred on the aggressive eight. side, and he doesn't mind that. Sewn off into the net. 10 8. Yeah, the problem when you're playing against a guy like Samsonov, who is so careful about every single point, is to get the holes, to try to get his weakness. And they are not many, and they are very difficult to discover. There he made an easy mistake by his back then, but very rare you will see that from Samsonov's side. So I think, like you're saying, Bang Lee King has to go very aggressive here. Left. Eleven nine. nine, and you can see what 11. Vladimir Samsonov is trying to do now, Anders. He's trying to move his opponent back and forth across the table as opposed to just going right at him and letting him stand flat-footed. Yeah, and also trying to, to make short receives so he can get the first uh, top spin and, and get his game going. That's obviously Samsonov's game plan, to have his style, type of game where he can dominate and, and use his strong sides. Good rally. And a very good response from Bang Le King. There's a lot of spin on that foreign top spin from Samsonov, as you can see here on the replay. But he's going for it all the way, 100%, and that gives him the point. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. Excellent rally, and the crowd here in Hong Kong is really appreciative of the Pine Table Tennis. It's been interesting, Nine, Anders, because 13. we've made some stops literally right around the world. There's Australia and North America, and, and some venues, our crowd maybe hasn't been quite as knowledgeable, but this crowd here in Hong Kong really knows it's table tennis, and you can tell by the reaction on every single strike of the ball. Oh, yeah. China and Hong Kong is, is uh, like, uh, Nine, what do you 14. say? used on about American football. Everybody knows the game and everybody knows exactly how the strategy is put up. So obviously table tennis in this part of the world is very strong Nine and very 14. popular. Like you're saying, the, the audience knows the game. They knows the game. Oh. Samsonov all over it, keeping that rally alive. And Bang Lee King just couldn't close the deal and given the opportunity. Look at this side spin from Samsonov, which uh, surprised Vangli King totally. It's so much side spin, so he even uh, misses the ball. What a high-risk shot that was to even try that. But it worked for him. <laughs> but back comes Vangli King. 15, 10, Wang. If you've just joined us, folks, this is the men's final. Third set action, $35,000 on the line in this final. Vladimir Samsonov won the first set 21-16, won the second set 21-14, trails 15-10 here in the third set. These gentlemen have played all year trying to earn a berth in this tournament. 14 stops on the International Table Tennis Pro Tour circuit. 
The top 16 points earners through those stops qualified for a berth here in Hong Kong. And they're looking for a shot at part of that $210,000 cash. And at this point, Vladimir Samsonov trying to climb back into this third set. And if he can do it, he can close the deal and claim that first place prize check. And right now he trails 12-15 in the third 15, set. 12. And here comes the trademark from Samsono. You thought that Wang Le King have dominated this set. It's only 15-12 because he's so careful about every single point. He made two quick ones, and now he's back in the game again. Another one. 13-15. Let's 15, 40, 30. He's continuing playing his foreign top spin, 100%. And I think that's the only way he can turn around this match. It's exactly doing that. All the time he has the chance to play his foreign top spin, go for it for 100%. Trying to play a bit risky. Excellent table tennis. Oh, it's fantastic table tennis, Gino. Did you see that foreign top spin from Samsonov? It's unbelievable. I think finally King is one meter 15, from the ball. Samsonov. Look at this final one. How do you react to that? You've got no shot at that. No, there is no way to react on that one. Samsonov, I played him out there. You can see it very clearly 15, here. 16. How he uses both angles terrifically and he deliberately as you say Anders played his opponent really out wide and then closed the deal oh yeah and he's threatening to close it out he trails by two points but it's interesting he trails by two points and we're talking about him threatening to close it out 14, because at this 15. point even though he's trailing he still looks like the dominant player in this final <laughs> but credit for Bang Lee King he is not going to surrender and leads 17-14. Huge point for Wang Le King and it's terrific table tennis okay. once again where both okay. players giving their best shots in a foreign topspin duel. Okay. 14-18. Interesting to see also, Gino. It's the Chinese who is the most, uh, 14, uh, what do you say, jumped 18. up or, or emotional. Mo emotional, yeah, rather than Samsonov. It's almost nine times out of ten. It's the opposite uh, scenario where the Chinese very seldom shows expression. But I like 14, this. Wang Li King is, is really uh, hot. The crowd here at the Queen Elizabeth Stadium is loving it. Well, I can tell you one thing. You can't be better than this. Enjoy. What an interesting rally that was, though, because the whole face of the rally changed. We went from aggressive attacks to sit back and let's see what you've got to an aggressive finish to it as well. And Bang Lee King now leads 19-14. Fourteen twenty. Set point. Vang Lee King. And it's over. 21-14. And Vang Lee King has done it. He's gotten out of the board here against Vladimir Samsonov. Trails two sets to one. But he's back in it. We'll continue in a moment. Back to Fudelisma Stadium in Hong Kong. It's the men's final of the Hong Kong Grand Finale of the International Table Tennis Federation's Pro Tour. 16 of the top players in the world began the competition. We're down to the final two. Vladimir Samsonov of Belarus and Vang Li King of China. We're into game four. Vang Li King down two sets to one. Oh. Welcome back, everyone. If you just joined us, our apologies because you've missed some great table tennis. I'm Gina Red along two, with Anders Sundstrom. Four. 
former head coach and former national team player, Team Sweden. And really, you couldn't possibly ask for anything more from a men's final than this, Anderson. It has been great table tennis, and it seems like it will continue that way. The, with seeing this rally, it's going to be like that anyway. This has just been a great men's final. It's been unbelievable. You've seen virtually everything you could ask for. Three, two, Samson up. Interesting to also realize is that these are two guys which is almost 20 years old only, which means that in a couple of years, these two guys might show up in Olympic Games final or whatever. So this is maybe the future for, for table tennis. Two young guys who is very skilled and knows a lot about this game. And that ties it 3-3. Three, three. Three, And again, there's that emotion we've seen from Vang Lee King of China. Four. As you mentioned, we don't often see a lot of emotion from the Asian table tennis players. They try to take it all in stride, but we're seeing an awful lot of it from Vang Lee King now. He's maybe part of the new Chinese uh, team, a new era in China as well. So I think uh, they show more emotions in, in general, and I think that's very good for the sport. Point Samsona. Another interesting contrast is the support that each of these Five, players gets. Four. Obviously, Vang Li King, a player in China where really the epicenter of table tennis in the entire world, gets a ton of support and a ton of financial help as well. Whereas in stark contrast, Vladimir Samsonov is from Belarus. Four, He's three. completely on his own here. Wang. Yeah, that's a bit of a contrast, yeah. Belarus uh, obviously do not have the resources a Chinese Table Tennis Association can put uh, onto the show. So Samsonov is very much, like you're saying, traveling by himself most of the season and earn his living at, in Germany as a professional player in their league system. But that also means that Samsonov has to really think for himself and make all the decisions himself, which I'm surely have developed his skills Four, seven. In, a, in a much more positive way than just only been given advice from a coach all the time. I mean, eventually, when it comes to 19 all in the fifth, you have to take your decision yourself. And that shows you the level of maturity. And remember, he's only 20 years old. Net and long. 6-7. Six, 6-7. Seven. Six, seven. I think this match can go either way now. I think it's an open uh, match, even if Samsonov leading 1-2-1 one, one in sets, because Wang Le King took the third one, which I think gave him some momentum. 7 all. We're all even at 7. Vladimir Sensonov won the first two sets, 21-16, 21-14, lost the third set, 21-14. And it's all even here at Sunset. Make it 7-8. Seven, 7-8, eight. Seven, eight. Samsonov. An almost hint a fraction of, of uh, worriness in, in Samsonov's face. That's not that often you can see that, but it looks like he's a bit worried about the development. See if he can uh, regroup and, and uh, make some points in his own service here. That's very, very important for him, this uh, service game, I think. 7-8. Oh, man, just caught the edge of the table. He needed that break. That's what we call a forehand flip. When you're playing a, a forehand almost smash over the table, that's a very difficult shot to make. He goes up. He's too love on his serve. Nine, He's gone ahead eight. now, 9-8 in the game. Tell you, Gino, it's very high level of table tennis. It's uh, they're putting pressure Nine, on each four. other all the time. On all the shots they're making, they're having some kind of pressure, either by very quick ball, by speed, or by a very heavy spin ball. So there's a the quality and, and the standard is very very high at 
at this moment of the final. When I'm saying that, he's making an easy mistake. Eight, That's your fault, Anders. He's looking up at you now, wondering why you had to say that exactly when you did. Ten ten here in the fourth set. Vang Lee King. Now, interesting as the two head to the towels, we should point something out here, and that is the fact that they're testing out timeouts in men's table tennis right now. Tell yeah. me about the thought process behind that. We are thinking of uh, giving an extra moment in the game, like a tactical way of, of proceeding in the game, and also giving the, the broadcasters maybe some commercial time. Great exchange. Great exchange. And Vang Lee King goes on top 11 10. Look at this rally and look at the uh, 11, footwork of Vang Lee King. You can see how well uh, trained he is with his uh, muscles showing fully. Very, very impressive. Why is he so emotional? Well, folks, he's up 12 10. And there's $35,000 US up for grabs to today's winner. Yeah. Net. 12 11. 12 11. Like we said before, Samsono doesn't show any expression, and he's very, very steady. He's steady as a rock. Oh, Vang Lee King would like that one back. That's the first unforced error of that 12, type we've seen this 12. entire match, and it came at a very, very difficult time for him because now we're all even 12 all in the fourth set. Into the net. Is that going to cost him? Yeah, that was a bit of a, a bad 12, mistake by him. He was enough. having the right intention to go and play his foreign toss pin, but uh, for some reason he couldn't get it uh, over the net this time. So he gives up the lead to Vladimir Samsonov of Belarus, and Samsonov on his serve, and he's been very, very successful very on his goal. serve so far in this championship final. Yeah, that's also one of his trademark. He will put the serve together here when he gets his game. Short service with a, perhaps bits of side spin, and then no, it's a long service. Eight. Just caught a bit of the table to even the match at 13 all. Vangli King got quite fortunate there. And well, we mentioned timeout there. You see Vangli King's time coach calling a timeout. And One this is kind of an interesting time scenario time. right now because Vangli King goes over and has a chat with his coach. Whereas, if we check out Vladimir Samsonov, he's all on his own. Yeah, that's right. And there you, like we mentioned before, the difference in resources here. Uh, now, Kai Shenhua, the head coach of China, will give Wang Le King some final advice how to turn this set to his favor. Obviously, Samsonov has to use the timeout uh, to, his, to his best by himself. It's interesting. The only person Samsonov has got to talk to right now is his towel, just to kind of calm down. But as a former national team head coach, what do you say to Van Lee King right now? He might have discovered something that uh, he wants Van Lee King to do, like playing a ball in a di precise direction or maybe doing something differently. Like we said earlier, Samsono, there's very little of his repertoire which have weaknesses. So I think it will be a, more like a pep talk for Van Lee King, that, mentioning things like being aggressive, try to take your chances, etc., etc. that kind of stuff. A timeout in International Table Tennis Federation. It's something brand new to the sport. It'll be interesting to see uh, if this is something that lasts. Right now it's in a test mode, and we'll see how it works out for Vang Lee King. He lost the first two sets, 21-16, 21-14, won the third set, 21-14, and now we're all even 13 all in the fourth set. Into the net. Samsonov leads 14 13. 
it's interesting to see how Salzano keeping to his game plan all the time. He's playing the, the shots he, he he's more confident about. Long, 14-14. Fourteen all. <laughs> Net and long. Fifteen fourteen. Fifteen fourteen. Vladimir Simsonov of Belarus leading Bang Li King of China. Sixteen fourteen. Fourteen. For those 14, of you who have just joined eight. us, Gino read along with Andrew Stunstrom for the men's final here at the Queen Elizabeth Stadium in Hong Kong. $35,000 U.S. on the line for today's champion. Now comes the most important service game in the game or in the match for Wang Le King. He, to stay alive here, he must do something differently and, and do something good. He trails by two on serve. trails by three that could cost him dearly that was a, a point where he had some zone of in more or less uh, out but missed the final four and top spin Eighteen fourteen. Bengli King is backing himself into a corner. He's 0 for 2 on his serves. 14, I don't know what Kaisen Hua told him, but he has played too many balls on the on the backhand side of Samsonov, and there you will, you will not discover any mistakes. Terrific play by Samsonov, who's playing him from side to side, corner to corner. He's 0 for 3 on his service now and trails 14-19. 14, 19. This is a point where Vang Lee King would have liked to use his timeout, but at this point he's already used his one and only timeout in this match. He's got to go the distance. And there it is. Boy, did he need that. And he needed the next one as well. 15, 19. 15, 19. Vladimir Samsonov, two points away from the Hong Kong Grand Final title and $35,000. Long, he's one point away. 2015, Vladimir Sansonov on set, match, championship point. You can hear the audience. They are more or less in, uh, uh, I don't know what kind of mood, but you can hear them. They are mumbling. They know that something big is going on here. And Vang Lee King is still alive. 16-20. This is what it's all about, folks. 20-16. These two have fought all year to make it to this tournament, to battle for this $35,000. So neither one is going to go down without a huge battle. Championship point, Vladimir Sansonov. 20-16. Left. 20-16. a little long 2017 Bang Lee King trying to climb back into this Anders oh yeah now it's going to be quite interesting Five. to see what happened and speaking of interesting Vladimir Samsonov has just called a time, a time out he is leading he is in match point I would think at this point he would not want to call a time out just keep it going do not give Bang Lee King an opportunity to go and speak to your coach and regroup. I, I'm surprised by this, Andrew. Yeah, but on the other hand, he was leading 2014. And now Wang King have taken have three straight points. I think the idea behind the timeout is to to interfere and interrupt his his uh, rhythm and get Vladimir one second thought of trying to, to catch the, the final point here. I think that's the reason behind the timeout. Well, I don't, I don't know, Anders. I don't know, because now you've given an opportunity for Bang Lee King to go and, and discuss some strategy with his coach, get an opportunity to maybe come up with some tactic to get back into this match and keep this championship alive, where Samsonov now has nobody to talk to. All he does is he gets a chance to go up and towel off. 
Interesting. We'll see how it works out. This is the men's final of the 1997 17. Hong Kong Grand Final. Vladimir Sansonov won the first two sets, lost the third, and is in championship point here in the fourth set. $35,000 to the winner. And it's over. Vladimir Samsonov, your 1997 Hong Kong Grand Final Champion and earning $35,000 for the victory. Literally dozens of players from right around the world have battled all year to get this far. And on this day, Vladimir Samsonov is on top of the world. Let's hear from the champ. You uh, are the winner today of the men's single. So, uh, but I was wondering, uh, what's the point of uh, having this pause at the last point? Is it trying to release your tension? Yes, I mean, I had 2015 and I had five match points, and then I lost two points, and I still had this uh, time out. And I thought, it's the time to take time out. And also, the guys from Germany, Jörg Broskov and the coach, Glenn Earth, they showed me that I should make time out, and I made it. So I think it was lucky for us to right moment, and now I'm the winner. So it's nice. You have to admire the guy. He's coming here all alone and taking the title. And that wraps up our coverage of the 1997 International Table Tennis Federation's Pro Tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next year, for Anders Thunstrom and the entire crew, I'm Gino Retta saying so long and thank you for joining us.